You're watching LifeWords day by day where we are studying 2 Samuel. And we have turned the page to chapter 3. The first sin we run across in our text is the polygamy of King David. Now, it'll not suit the Christian just to chalk this circumstance up to culture and say, well, polygamy, well, that's just how they did things back then. Culture is not the curator of holiness. God's Word is. And from the beginning of God's Word, we see the beauty of the design of one man and one wife in marriage. And also, from pretty close to the beginning, we see the perversion of that design in creation and the damage that it causes. So what we have to remember is that what is written in Scripture is not always a prescription for us to follow, but sometimes merely description. And that is, I believe, what we have taking place in 2 Samuel chapter 3, verses 2 through 5. The author is describing to us how David's kingdom and popularity spread. But it's not a prescription for us. And we will soon see that the sin of man does not stop, does not negate God's plan. And that's the great reality that we're to learn. Nothing stops God in what he wants to do. It's not David's infidelity, not Abner's great pride in thinking that he was the one delivering the people over to, to David. Beloved, that is great comfort for us today as we see all kinds of politics, all kinds of corruption, all kinds of immorality, all kinds of deceit and seduction taking place all around us. You can hardly open up a news browser without reading about some new legitimate scandal taking place in some church or Christian organization. Now, it would be easy for us to think that Christianity is on its last leg, that it cannot get up off the mat. But let me assure you that nothing stops the plan of God. The church will go on, and the church will be triumphant. Christ is reigning and will continue to reign. As you pray today, please remember Michael and Sharon Quillman, our missionaries in Zambia. And also remember the God Ifana Life Word broadcast that's heard throughout Guatemala, Belize, and Honduras. Thank you.